Tony. Graham. Ian. Sheila. Mick. Rog. <laughs> It's the BBC on your radio every day on one. Radio One Club. Action is with Johnny Moran. Welcome to Radio One Club. Well, there you are. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Anyway, here. Yes. Lovely to have you with us. How long have you all been together? Um. Well, mostly it's about three years, but we've just got a new drummer, Mick, who's been with us a couple of months. Mm. You've had more success really on the continent, haven't you? Uh, yes. Arabia. Is it Arabia? Well, Middle East, generally. Middle East, yeah. is it? You bought him back one of those sort of things that you put around your head. That's right, yeah. Didn't fit, actually. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> tub wash or something like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Sheila, must be very awkward so nice travelling around with all these fellas. Oh, it's not, no. You have a great time. The mind boggles, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says that. <laughs> but uh, there's no awkward times. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about this new record called Lucky Sunday? Who, who wrote this for you? Uh, Very unusual. John, yeah, Johnny Worth wrote that. Mm. It's a uh, leisure production. Kind of thing. What made you uh, record this one particularly? Well, we were just looking through a load of material and uh, Les came up with this number, you know, yeah. and uh, we were all knocked out with it. Are you doing any more travelling? You're off to the States, right? Uh, well, we heard we'd go to the States before Christmas for sort of promotion. Aye, aye. Hello? <laughs> I think, so, I think somebody's knocking the Radio 1 Club about. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. I tell you what, thanks very much for being with us. Number O. What about that? Zero. O, yeah. Uh, call them out, Sheila, as you give them to me, yeah? Two. Two. Right. Four. Four. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Five. Five. There it is. Right. That's number O. Th thanks very much, Sheila. O, two, four, nine, five. Um... Walk 
Yeah, well, I clap too, but I've got my hands full of microphones. You know that it would be untrue. You know that I would be a liar. If I were to say to you, our hero couldn't get much higher. Come on, baby, like my group there, episode six, and their version of Light My Fire, and they had any doubt at all, the prettiest organist in the business. That's uh, Sheila Carter, and a little later on she's going to take a, a solo on a song. We look forward to that because she's got a very fine voice indeed. Sheila, while that record was playing, that great record by Johnny Nash, You Got Sold, you did choose out a number out of the hat, didn't you? Yes, I did. What, can you come close to the microphone and tell everybody at home what the lucky number today is? It's number 6325. Get that, boys and girls, 6325. Thanks very much, Sheila. Something simple as cares go by. Sing something simple, just you and I.
<laughs> Episode six, y'all, with a rip snorter there. That was Justin James. I hope you liked it. Sheila, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What do you think of your reception here in uh, Cardiff? Oh, it's fantastic. So uh, many people. It really is great. Okay, listen here. Here's the lucky number right now, and somebody's going to win the top five records in the nation because you've chosen their number. So what is it, then? It's number 42813. How about that? Thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, there you hide it there. Double hill, double solo there. Slow down, and then they started off with Monster in Paradise. Uh, who's going to be the spokesman for the group? <laughs> oh, it's going to be Tony, is it? Yes, I see. Tony, um, you've appeared how many times live here? Oh, uh, three. Three times. I think it's been every time I've been on the programme, really. It seems to have worked out that way. And you do a lot of, lot of stuff at the BBC. You do a lot of, you know... Uh, we did do. You, what, what does that mean? <laughs> yes. uh, well, we've gone underground, you see. Oh, have you? Yes, <laughs> uh, apparently. Well, you look all right from where I'm standing. <laughs> what does that mean, underground, though? Because um, a lot of groups are underground, but in fact, um, quite often, you know, for example, it sounds quite normal to me. Well, we're not really underground. It's just that... Uh, We've been told we are, you see. Oh, I um, see. We get, uh, we're really a, a sort of a pop underground, rock and roll, uh, psychedelic group, you know. Oh, I see. And, uh, and all that jazz. And all that jazz, yeah. What about, do you agree with all that, Sheila? Oh, definitely. Yeah. You, you're underground as well, are you? Well, I'm thinking about it. I see. So I should say, mind the doors any moment, I think. Um, Tony, this uh, record that you just released, in fact, it was something to do with the Radio One Club. You performed on here with great success a couple of times. Uh, it was originally intended as a stage number, mm. for our stage act. And uh, we played it on Radio One Club before Christmas and on New Year's Eve. And uh, it went down so well, so many requests to record it, that we did it. Going back to episode six right now, they've got a, a brand new number called Mozart versus the rest. And Ian Gillen, who's the lead singer, is now going to play the part of an episode six spokesman and tell us the history behind uh, this particular number. Ian. Uh, well, this all started some time ago, actually, on Radio One Club uh, in London, in fact. And uh, Tony sort of had the idea for the thing, and uh, we did it there. We had no, no sort of intention of recording it, you know, initially, but everyone was jumping around saying, yeah, put it out, you know, so we, so we did. Right, jolly good one. If you leap back into place, here we go with uh, that particular latest release that goes something like this. Mozart versus the rest. Let's see who wins.
it's Mozart versus the rest. And I say on the previous broadcast, I think Mozart lost out there. And, uh, we haven't got Ernie here in Cardiff today. We've got somebody far more attractive. It's Sheila Carter, the lady of episode six. Sheila, if you can dip into this old bag, and I uh, don't mean that one there, uh, you can come out with today's lucky numero, s'il vous plaît. Yes, it's number three, 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 two, one. You don't have to work fast, don't you? What's that again? Sorry. Three, 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 two, one. Marvellous. Right, all the threes except the twos and the ones at the end. Thank you very much indeed, Sheila. Uh, their manager, Gloria Bristow, is uh, down here, in fact, in Cardiff today. She celebrated a birthday earlier this month, so two days before mine, in fact. I'd like to uh, wish her many happies. I'm talking about uh, managers' mums, if I may, at the moment. Gloria's mum kindly sent me some super Somerset tasty cream the other day. So greetings to you, Mrs. Mum, down there in Somerset, Tom Huxley. We've got a medley to start off with, and we're going to present uh, three photographs of the people who can... Uh, that's here in London today, I'm obviously not listeners. First three people who can recognise this medley consisting of a Stones tunes. Don't know how many there are in all, probably about eight. Anyway, see how we go. Episode six, Rolling Stones medley. <laughs> Lady Miss Brenda Davis, 21 Park Road, Rochester Street, Kent. She gets a signed photograph of episode six, who've had hits with here, there, and everywhere. I hear trumpets blow. I'll warm your heart, love, hate, revenge. Morning, Jew, I can see through you. Little one, lucky Sunday, Mozart versus the rest, etc., etc. 25 minutes past one o'clock. Right, thank you very much, thank you. We're going to slow down a bit now so you can all have a quick grapple. Here's Sheila with the thing goes by. This is called Stay With Me, Baby. Thank you. 
Fantastic live performance there from Sheila Carter. What a voice. 25 minutes to 2 o'clock. We return to episode 6, who comprise Ian Gillen, Sheila Carter, Tony Lander, Graham Ross, Roger David, and Mick Underwood. I hope I got all those right. Based in North London. This number, in fact, is especially for all 300,000 Cardiffians. It's called the Castle, and to all people who haven't been here to uh, Wales, there is an ancient castle here, originally the site of a Roman camp. The castle, half of which is now the Academy of Music and Drama, the other half remains as your actual castle. Cardiff Castle was given to the city by the Marquis of Butte. That's the end of the history lesson. Oh, uh, some ten years ago. Right now, up to present day, March the 24th, 1969. Ladies and gentlemen, the castle, episode six.
We're going to uh, greet Roger David. He's the bass guitarist for the group. We're going to greet his sisters, Christine and Tina. They've got birthdays happening around about now. And also, Rod said, would we uh, say greetings to Mick's dog, Debbie. Mick being Mick Underwood, the drummer, and Tone, Tone Lander, who takes the lead, more or less. He features on his meat act in this particular album, which episode six are all set to do now, called Spanish Caravan. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, the crew that always have everybody standing and looking, really, they are great, aren't they? Episode 6, there, Ian gave me a good cue to know when they'd finish.
your business. We've definitely got the microphone. Read your radio times, which we sincerely hope you do. You would have probably uh, thought that we're going to have the Pink Floyd on the show as our guest group, but they couldn't come, unfortunately. But we do have, and at very uh, short notice, it was about, uh, I suppose, half an hour to an hour ago, we got in contact with uh, episode six all over London, and they rushed along here, uh, getting everything together, tumbling out of bed and getting all their gear. So we haven't had time to listen to it all, but we hope it's all working. And if it is, glad. Uh, you think it's okay? Right, episode six, thank you very much for coming along at short notice. Let's hear you now. And a number called I'm the Boss. Go! <laughs> He's untouchable, I say so. I am the master, I am the boss. Because I'll be fried or tread on. <laughs> Nothing compares to his finery, says me. I am the master. Christian handkerchiefs on my lap Keeps my legs warm Old Wedgwood then is a funny chap Here's the door stop I am the master, don't argue the toss Because I'll be fried or trod on. <laughs> I'm quite mad, you know. Great. You know, even though it was last week, it really sounded th episode six. Th they told me it's a raving rhythm and blues now, but they're having having me on there.
orange air, yeah. So I thought with, uh, with Don Moss in charge of things in London that uh, the air would have been a bit blue. <laughs> up to do a vocal. While they're doing that and changing around, uh, they'd like to say, Ian and Mick of Epi6, thanks to Les Mitchell for driving like a maniac from London Airport to get them to Radio One Club in time, which he did. So thank you very much indeed, Les Mitchell. All to, also to all you other cabbies listening today, driving around London in the old uh, hot weather. Soothe your shattered nerves, we've got some lovely music for you. A couple more requests here. First of all, for Susan, uh, another Susan, uh, Helen, D, Jerry, Maddo, Jack and Jules of 3W Wimbledon. Uh, county school and all those going to court tonight from Chippewals, in other words, Sharon. And we've got one here for everyone at Alexandra Park Comprehensive School, especially Pia, Joy, Anne, Bass and Alex. To all who went to a certain holiday camp at Christmas, especially Billy Young, who lives at Peckham and his mum and dad. And for the two waiters, Tom and Jeff, and for Cousin Jill. Also, uh, and that's all, lots of love from Linda Porter. First of all, uh, we've got now another number. Are you changed around? Good, lovely. How about I'm a cloud then? Ready? Off we go. <laughs> Bye. 
We're gonna let it loud, you won't regret it Kick your shoes off, do not fear Bring that fire over here I'll be all about that episode six in the Radio One Club today and I'll be your baby tonight, baby. Sheila Carter fronts up to the microphone. Episode six coming with Something's Gotten Hold of My Heart. Something's gotten hold of my heart Keeping my soul and my senses apart Oh, 
So something's gotten hold of my heart. Episode six, ladies and gentlemen, with a number called Morning. Go!
way It's been a long way yeah, yeah, home. Oh my goodness, well there it is I have very loud earphones on And that played havoc with me Thanks very much indeed, episode 6 For standing in so very well for Pink Floyd Who didn't turn up earlier on I think they did a grand job Can we have a ripple for episode 6 from Hanley? I think they were beautiful, Marvelous.